Okay, I'm going to talk about <coughs> four-year series convergence in uh, in this uh, in this video. So let's jump directly to this. Okay, first of all, <coughs> um, uh, we do not know what this four-year series converges to. When we were talking about it in the previous slides, <coughs> here for example, okay, so we mentioned about that this function is going to be represented by Fourier series as you can see but we do not know how it will converge what is the convergence of it okay so the convergence means that uh, we need like something that establishes a relationship between the function itself which is f of x that we are talking about and its Fourier series and the series that we are talking about if, if we have something like this is the function for example Okay, and we are going to make Fourier series, which is something like, like like this, for example. We want to know what is the relation between the two. What is the relation between the two uh, on an interval? This will require some assumptions about the function. The point here, let's assume that we have this. Let's assume that we are having the function and we have the Fourier series if we, as we have obtained it, for example this one which is the straight line it is considered to be f of x and the one that is not straight as you can see this is the Fourier series of the function okay so we are going to find two lines here we are going to find this is an example only I'm going to explain it later we're going to find an example and we're going to explain about this later we found that after making our Fourier series for the function okay we found that the Fourier series is converging at the end to a specific point so from here for example this is Fourier series here and here also we found that this is Fourier series is converging at the end at certain point here and here when we found when we looking to this certain point we found that it converts to this value which is for example here it is minus pi squared okay so if we say that the function is having the limit of minus L here and L here then Fourier series is going to converge is going to converge at the ends to this specific value and at any point in the interval minus L to L it is going to converge to the function itself to f of x right that's right okay so this is our main concern here that we want to find how we can understand this relation which is the Fourier series how it does converge at the ends and also inside the interval how it converges does it converge to the fx to the function or something else okay so we need to establish this uh, this uh, this uh, this relation in a better way to understand how Fourier series is going to converge okay now let's go and we need to make some uh, like pavement first before going into this uh, this convergence recall that the function is f is piecewise continuous this is like description of the function on an interval a to b f this function is continuous at all at all but perhaps finitely many points of this interval and at a point where the function is not continuous f is finite has finite limits at the point from within the interval take care from this word from within of the interval such a function has a worst jump discontinuous discontinuities or finite gaps in the graph at finitely many points okay uh, what I have uh, like read now you can understand it here from this graph figure 13.1 shows a typical piecewise continuous function the point is sometimes we can find some functions these functions they are having some jumps sometimes the function for example is continuous this function for example from here to here it is continuous right nothing um, that is just uh, there is no gaps or something like this this function it is the same okay 
But what if I said to you that all of them, they are function. This is only one function. So we're going to find that part of the function here, another part is here, another part is here. So we are talking about this. If we have a piecewise continuous function on the interval a to b, okay, then then this piecewise it has some description or it, it requires some prerequisites okay so this f is going to be called piece uh, piecewise continuous if this function is continuous at all perhaps at all at all okay but perhaps there are some exceptions here finitely points many points on the interval because this point for example it is the function is not continuous we have some jump here but the point is every end from both ends here it is it, it has some finite value we know where is the end but look to this one for example we do not know what is the end exactly here right we do not know what is the end here okay so we want to know how to obtain this piecewise okay so we say that if x node between a and b the interval limits denote the left limit of f of x we're going to make some like uh, how to denote the uh, like the limit from the left and the right so f of x from the left at point x node is going to be denoted as as you can see f x node dash or like some something like minus for example but it's in the right okay and the right limit of f of x at x node equal to f x node plus here so this is like minus and plus okay this means what left approaching to f of x or if we have this is x node so approaching to it from the left we call it f x node minus and approaching to this no point from the right we are going to call it f of x node exactly positive or plus okay so what is the meaning of, of, of this? The meaning is in mathematical form is something like this. That f of x node, okay, f of the function x at the point x node from the left, it equals to the limit of this h reaching to 0, where the function is going to be f of x node minus h, as if that the point is approaching, okay, so as if that we have this is for example like h for example and this h is decreasing every time so we are approaching to the point which is x node okay and in a similar fashion we are going to define f of x node plus again plus here means right it is from the right okay so so here this is from the left sorry i, I was talking from here and for this i'm talking about the right one the same it is the limit of f of x node plus h where h is approaching zero okay okay if f is continuous if f is continuous okay at x node means that if this is the function and we are talking about for example x node here so it is continuous at uh, from from the left and from the right the function is continuous then these left and right limits both equal to fx node and this is right here this is fx node right so that's that's important issue but if we say that we have something like like this for example let's assume this is x node so from from left it approaches to this value let's assume it is minus 2 for example and from right this is the function it approaches to another value which is let's assume it is 2 for example okay so that's that's the important part regarding uh, f of uh, x node plus and minus from the right and from the left okay now let's go to an example to understand the meaning of the piecewise continuous function okay if we have f is piecewise continuous okay on the interval minus 3 to 4 so we have like minus 3 here and we have like 2 to 4 here okay this is the function is what piece wise piece wise 
okay continuous how we can obtain this this is the function here it equals to x for x less than larger than or equal to minus 3 and less than 2 is here this is 2 and it equals to 1 over x for x larger than or equal to 2 and smaller than or equal to 4 okay so it is this is the part here okay so this function is piecewise continuous on the interval minus 3 to 4 having a single discontinuity at x equal to 1 this is right look here at x equals 2 there is discontinuity here because we have value here this is like one function okay and there is another like another part of the function here right there is this is like discontinuity right so the function here when it is less than 2 it equals to x okay but when it whenever whenever it is going to be larger than 2 it is going to equal to 1 over x as you can see here till it reaches 4 okay so f is piecewise continuous on minus 3 to 4 having a single discontinuity at x equal to furthermore f of the function equals to 2 from the left equals 2 right that's very true because here let, let me clean at at 2 this is we are talking at this point reaching from the left this is left right so reaching at the left how much what is the value it is 2 okay and reaching from the right okay what is the value of it it is here 1 over 2 right which is 1 over x so from the right it is equal to 1 over 2 okay a graph of f is shown in this figure as you can see it here so we can say that we can say that f is piecewise smooth take care of this word smooth okay not only piecewise continuous we are talking about smooth piecewise smooth on the interval a to b if this function f is piecewise continuous and f prime which is the first derivative of the function exists and is continuous at all but perhaps finitely many points of the interval a to b okay what is the meaning of this let's see this example okay so the function f of example 13.2 which is the previous example this function okay we said that it is what exactly it is piece y is continuous right right okay here we're going to say the function f of the example previous example is differentiable on this interval because on this interval we can differentiate the f of x so f prime of x is going to be 1 for this interval and going to be minus 1 over x squared for this interval right because we have x here and 1 over x here right so this means what exactly that we are having this function so the function f of example 13.2 is differentiable on this interval except at x equal 2 because there is a jump discontinuity there this derivative is itself piecewise continuous because it is continuous really there is no uh, no uh, gaps or no discontinuity on this uh, derivative therefore f which is the main function is piecewise smooth on the interval right we can now state a convergence theorem we can state the convergence theorem which is going to be uh, like this this is I'm going to um, provide it in the next video okay okay thank you and, and see you in the next video